So in this first example using where, I want to select the product name and the list price from the products table where the list price is greater than $50. So I'll start off with my columns by typing in select product name, comma, list price, and again they're surrounded by square brackets because there's a space in the name, from the products table where list price is greater than 50. And I don't need to format the 50 here as currency because it's not stored that way in the database. All right, I'll go ahead and fix the name of products real quick and run this query. And I have just two products that are over $50. Now I'll go ahead and head back to SQL. And in this example, I want to select the company name and contact first name for the customers who have a contact whose name starts with A-N. So if you've ever had that assistant or coworker that left you a message that says, well, and someone called from some company, this would be an excellent query for that. And I know because I was actually that person that could never get phone messages right, but that's another story. So I want to select company and first name from customers where first name like, and again, I'm looking for a first name that starts with A-N, so inside of my single quote, I'll type in A-N and then an asterisk and close my quote. All right, let me check that. Perfect, you should have three records, Andre, Anna, and Antonio. I'll head on back to SQL. Next, I'm gonna use like, a wildcard, and a range to select the product name and category for the products whose category starts with A through G. So I'll go ahead and type in select product name and category from the products table where category like, and I'm looking for a range here of A through G, so inside of a single quote and a square bracket, A through G. And it's starting with A through G. So after I close out my square bracket, I want to have that asterisk there and close my quote. I'll go ahead and run that. And there we are, all of our categories that start with A through G. I see I've got grain in there. And I don't believe there are any categories that start with A, but I definitely have a G category. So that worked. Let me head on back to SQL. Now, if I want to select the product name in the category for products whose category does not start with A through G, there's a couple of different ways to do that. One way is I could just type in an exclamation point or a bang symbol right before the A in my criteria list, right? So let me check that out. If I click on Run, there's my other categories. I've got oil, sauce, pasta. It worked. Let me head on back to my SQL to show you the other way. I could have also typed where category not like A through G, same results, or I could have typed where not category like A through G. Any of those three ways works. Now I haven't used dates yet, so let me show you between and and to select a date range. I want to select the customer IDs, which is in this database 
basically the customer names, and the order dates of the orders that were placed between June 1, 2006 and June 15, 2006. And I'm going to use the orders table. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all my info here. And I want to select my customer ID and the order date from the orders table where the order date is between June 1st, 2006 and June 15th, 2006. Now, because I'm using a date, I actually have to enclose the date inside of a hash mark or a pound sign or an octothorpe, whatever you want to call it. And I'll type in 6-1-2006. And 6 15 2006. And make sure I close my hash marks there. All right, let me try that. There we go. It worked. Seven records. Now, let's say that I wanted to find all of the orders that were placed in June. If I go back to my SQL, there's a couple of different ways to do this. I could type in, instead of June 15th, June 30th, assuming that there's 30 days in June, which I believe there are, and click on Run. So these are all of my orders that were placed in June. Or, heading on back to my SQL here, another way that this can be done without using between and and, so I'll go ahead and backspace out all of that information, is I can actually type in where the year, so here I'm using a date function here, where the year function, the year of what? Well, the year of the order date, close out my square bracket there and my open parentheses, is equal to 2006, and the month, using my month function here, of the order date, Oops, order dare, order date is equal to six. And before I run that, I actually noticed that I put in a French bracket and not a square bracket. So let me go ahead and fix that and run it. And there we go, our same results. So the two ways is to either use between and, or you can use your date functions. Here I'm using year and month. And you can take a look at another lecture a little bit later on in this course that talks about date functions.